a shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash, double honors of the apostles of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the heavenly father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, who the world anybody calls God or Jehovah, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of the Israelites and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So uh, just some uh, breaking news. All right. Um, it says a, uh, a uh, top scientist seen as the architect of Israel's nuclear uh, program was assassinated. All right. Scientists seen as architect of Israel nuclear nuclear program assassinated. Uh, Mohsin Farazidah. Uh, Farazada is referred to as I Iran's Robert Oppenheimer, the American scientist who helped father the atomic bomb in 1945. All right, so you know uh, more and more, you know, talk, uh, you know, Iranian, all right, <laughs> Iranian Israel and in, in U.S. or the state of Israel in, in U.S. A.K.A. the daughter of Babylon is being talked about more and more, and it's uh, you know very uh, interesting. How at the beginning of 2020, you had that you had uh, the uh, um, World War III talk, all right, brewing up the wars and rumors of wars, because that um, top general was assassinated by um, by the American military, and here now you have a, a, a top a scientist for Iran's uh, nuclear program being assassinated, and at the end of 2020, so we can clearly see that. According to prophecy, you know, the Lord is doing exactly what, what he said would happen before the return of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. In the midst of all this, you still got, you know, the, the mark of the beast system being established. All right. The, the uh, draconian laws. All right. Uh, being implemented all throughout this world. All right. The, account, the, the, you know, the economic collapse brewing up. So, you know, we are definitely in, in those perilous times and in, 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 uh, and in these end times, man. Yahweh Shai. Uh, told us uh, to get a scripture real quick before I read it, man. And this is exciting news, man, because we know anytime Iran, uh, Iran is in the news with, with uh, you know, with friction or, you know, assassination, killing, war, that, that links to biblical end time prophecy, man. So we got to continue, once, you know, to always watch out for these things. In the book of, uh, was that a book of Luke? Let's see. Or is that uh, the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 29? How was I says, and he spake to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree in all and all of the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is nigh is now nigh at hand. So likewise, when ye uh, so likewise, ye when ye see these things come to pass. Know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Okay, so what are the things that we are supposed to see come to pass? The wars, all right, the rumors of wars, the pestilence, okay, the um, earthquakes in diverse places, all right, uh, uh, you know, uh, false prophets arising, okay, the betrayal of brethren, okay, uh, uh, this word being demonized, all these things are pre pre precursors unto the uh, return of Yahweh Shai in the end of this age. So one of these things that we know has to happen is this uh, World War III, all right, or the third woe. So this is the car, okay, that this uh, Iranian uh, scientist was in. You can see the blood on the floor to the right, all right, so he basically got shot up, which was, uh, you know, in an assassination attack. And you know who's behind this. All right, it's clear evidence as we're going to read. It says, a leading Iranian nuclear scientist, Mohsan Farazada, uh, Farazadi, I'm just going to call him Farah for now, was assassinated near the capital, Tehran, on Friday, which is today, Iran's defense military announced on state television. Terrorists murdered an eminent, uh, eminent Iranian scientist today, Foreign Minister Mo Mohammad Jafar Zar Zar uh, Zaraf, Wrote, wrote later on Twitter, the cowardice 
with serious indications of Israeli role. All right, that's very important, you know, because of the the prophetic in, uh, uh, implications that that um, that that means, man. You know, I you know, brothers and sisters watched the video I did uh, a couple of days ago, um, which was entitled "That the State of Iran and Biden Administration Will Be at Odds Against Iran." Uh, um, the State of Israel and the Biden Administration will be at odds against um, when it comes to Iran. Because the Biden administration is for a nuclear deal with Iran and the state of Israel, all right, and that government is not. So, as you can see, the the Israeli um, government is trying to draw the American, you know, uh, uh, military and American government into this war with Iran. And what better way to do that than to go forth with an assassination now? There's another article which Lowell will not be able to get. It um, goes into you know the whole, all the all the, the 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 nooks and crannies of why they're doing this right now. Okay, ultimately it's because the Lord is putting them in their spirit. But remember, the state of the those Israelis, they said that Trump was the best president, our uh, friendliest president that the uh, state of Israel ever had. So into their eyes, they want Trump to remain in office. Now, if there if there becomes a uh, a uh, national emergency to where Trump has to declare it, because remember, Trump is not technically out of office until January uh, twenty uh, twenty uh, January twentieth, twenty twenty one. So he is still the uh, active president. But if there is a national emer emergency based off of war, based off of something that you know uh, uh he can declare unilaterally without going to congress because the president does have certain powers where he can declare a national emergency without having approval from the from the congress this would be a very uh easy way for them to for him to achieve that goal all right so it says that this cowardice with serious indication of israeli role shows desperate warmonger warmongering of perpetrators Zafar, uh, Zafarf, uh, Zaf, Zafarf wrote, referring to Iran's arch enemy, Israel. Iran calls on international community and especially the e EU to end their shameful double standards and condemn this act of state terror. Now, Iran is still working with the EU countries, but you know, with that nuclear deal because that that a uh, nuclear deal. Had other countries evolved besides America? It had China, I believe, uh, Russia, and a few other um, European countries, um, France, Germany, and I'm, I'm not sure, but I believe Britain might have been in there as well. But I know France and Germany was also in that deal. So look who Iran is speaking to. You know, they say he calls on the international community and especially the EU. Now, why is that so important that Iran is uh, pointing out the, uh, specifically the EU? According to prophecy, which we'll get, the EU, all right, which is a part of the beast, okay, which the great whore sitteth upon, all right, which that whore being Babylon the Great, they're going to end up becoming enemies with the great whore, which is which is America, right? So let's read that. So it says, um, Revelation chapter 17, verse, um, go straight to the point, verse 16. It says, In the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, all right, and those ten horns were ten, uh, the ten nations of, of the ten original nations of the, the European Union, which now it's about 28 nations because it was broken up in different, you know, splices and you know, things of that nature, but it says, these shall hate the whore, okay, so these these European uh, countries, which are the beast, which are these ten horns, that, sit, that the whore sitteth upon, it says what, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire, okay, and how can a country burn another country with fire? Nuclear, uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles, all right, which a lot of those European countries do have. So something is going to happen that is going to turn these 
European countries that are now on paper are in face allied with America uh, uh, turn on, on America and shoot missiles at this place. And you can say, well, how can that ever happen? You know, the America and, and the European countries, you know, they're part of the NATO and they and they have, uh, you know, so much different, you know, so much of uh, things in common. You know, they're confederate one another. They're in allies. Well, understand verse 17 for the most high power has put it in their hearts to fulfill to fulfill his will. And that's what you have to understand that at the end of the day. This is all the will of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh dealeth in the kingdoms of men. Yahweh is in control, the father of all spirits. So if he put it in their hearts, aka their minds, their lab, to fulfill his will, and if his will is for the is for the beast, all right, these horns to, to hate the whore and to burn her with fire, then guess what? That is exactly what's going to happen. And we can see now I'm not. This is a hundred percent what is going to you know the the reasoning why this is, why why will happen, but as you see, Israel the, the the Israeli government and the and the United States government they're acting you know together doing covert operations without um without you know uh, warning or without uh, counseling with their other European counterparts. So it's like America, Babylon the Great, and Iran and, and Israel is doing their own separate thing. You know, they're not taking heed to international law. They're not taking heed in, in warning or, or, you know, um, including the, their other allies. Right. And that's why Iran said this, that what they called on international community and especially the EU. All right. That beast. And things are going to heat up to where that beast is going to hate the whore because Iraq, um, Israel, by doing this, is causing um it's causing uh, uh, America, a.k.a. Babylon, to be drawn into this conflict. Because, remember, ba um, uh, America is Israel's greatest ally and, and vice versa. They're, the, they're, like, they're like, you know, buddy-buddies, <laughs> uh, uh, buddies, man, but, uh, above every other country. So if, a, so if Israel goes to war, if Israel is attacked, America has to, has to act. But if Israel starts the war goes back to which I'll get which what I you know I brought out on the last uh video but I'll get it again uh Jeremiah chapter 49 where is it at Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 20 therefore hear the counsel of the Lord the counsel aka the will of the Lord and the Lord said what all of his counsel shall stand that he take that he hath taken against Edom and his purposes that he has purposed against the inhabitants of uh, Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. And that least of the flock being the uh, the, the state of Israel. There right now, all right, even though the the the, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, they're they're so-called Jewish people, all right, the synagogue of Satan. But as it, as as far as countries, as far as mountains, the state of Israel is a very small country or a very small mountain when it comes to political or, or should I say more so when it comes to military um military uh, uh power all right the state of israel is not a great military uh, uh power powerhouse babylon is all right and, and and when you go to the state of israel those amalekites all right part of the house of edom and when you compare them to britain or or germany or russia or turkey or um france all right, their their military power is not comparable to those other big names. So that's why they call the least of the flock. But they, what they're doing, all right, they're they're basically poking at a <laughs> at a bear. All right, and there and that's why it says surely the least of the flock shall draw them out because them being this 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 little this little guy when it comes to a military, them trying to poke at Iran. Understanding that Iran has backing with Russia and China, all right, and Iran is is becoming more uh, friendlier with the European countries, it's going to draw Babylon the Great out to a war in uh, AKA America, in which is going to lead into that Third War's War, man. All right, and just to just to uh, get something else, let's see if I can uh, find it real quick. A brother had posted a uh, article just now. In um, our group chat, which basically solidifies 
all these things that are happening. This uh, bear with me, and it's a lot here for the screen, you know, going back and forth. But this is from the Times of Israel, which uh, was published November twenty first, um, two thousand and twenty one. So six days ago. It says Israel, U.S. planning covert ops against Iran, as Trump's term ends. Report says. So this was six days ago. All right, and then you have Pompeo, Pompeo, whatever his name is. He was over there in the region um, of of uh, you know the so called Middle East, meeting with the Saudi Arabians, meeting with Netanyahu. So if if you're about to leave off office, okay, because the Trump administration. All right, and all those people are going to, you know, leave office. What? What are you? What are you meeting with these other people for? What are you meeting with Netanyahu in 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 the Saudi Arabian king for? Why? Because of these covert ops that they were doing, man. Okay, and these covert ops can once again lead to Trump uh, um, declaring a national emergency and staying in office because that's what the 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 the, the, the these Israelis want. They don't want Biden in office because Biden wants to go back into that nuclear deal with Iran. And, 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 and these uh, these Amalekites don't want that. So they plan this covert operation. And now we can see what happens. Does What does Iran do? Now, we know other prophecies must come to pass. But does Iran now strike, you know, uh, an, an, an Israeli uh, facility and which is going to cause them to call upon a Babylon, a great America to, you know, help them out because Iran knows they don't want no, they don't want no sauce just one on one. I mean, so like it is the state of Israeli, the state of Israel knows that they don't want sauce one on one with with Iran. They, they won't be able to survive that. OK, they need the backing, the military backing of of America, and that's going to draw them out. So I'm not going to read this whole thing. Read a you know a paragraph or two. It says Israel and the, and the U.S. are planning to increase pressure on Iran with quote unquote covert operations and that's what this assassination was this was a covert operation this was pre-planned and it wasn't by coincidence and 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 the US the United States especially Trump administration they knew perfectly that this was going to happen that this was going to go down they planned this and economic sanctions during US president Donald Trump's final weeks in office according to a Friday Israeli TV report their assessment is that Tehran will not respond militarily so they're saying that we can do this operation now. Ryan ain't going to do nothing. They're not going to respond militarily because before the end of his term, the report said. So they're doing this during his term and then setting up Biden have to deal with the consequences if that's what, you know, in their minds, what they're thinking. But once again, the Lord can have this to where uh, uh, Trump declares a national emergency. He stays in office. He stays in power. And then they now you know, have to deal with the response that Iran does and then boom, 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 escalate, escalate, escalate the, the mark of the beast. Look, man, 2021, you people thinking that this next year is going to be, you know, a brighter year and things uh, are going to look up, you know, from from 2020. You got you out your damn mind, man. You are blind and you are and the gospel is hit from you. OK, these things, the Lord is making things happen right now, man. And when we, we praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for that, because this these things must come to pass for our deliverance. And we just ask the Lord that He counts us worthy to escape all the hell that is going to be you know, ensue this earth, man. So, um, like I said, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Um, you know, if brothers want to actually, you know, go into it. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description. But this right here proves to proves to us that they were planning to do something like this. And is the, the the Israeli Mossad, all right, that uh the the the, the, the Mossad that their 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 special ops team, they're the ones who did that. So so no Iran is going to respond, man. Okay? No Iran is going to respond. Just like how they responded last year when uh when uh uh that their general was assassinated, they responded to attacking US military bases. So you know for sure they're going to attack some Israeli uh, Israeli uh, facilities because they don't fuck with Israel at all. Okay, so let's get you know one two more scriptures and we'll close it out. You know, very very exciting news, man. And we're seeing how the Lord is is making all you know bring bringing all these pieces together and and, and you know the Lord as the scripture says that he uh, revealed his secrets into his servants the prophets. So we see these things very clearly what the Lord is doing. 
All right, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. And who is the prey? Starting with Esau, man. Okay? These heathens and, and these heathen nations. All right, and, and the undesirables of Israel. Okay? The Lord is going to rise up to the prey. That's why we don't got to do nothing. We don't got to get no, no guns. We don't got to formulate no, no, uh, uh, no military, anything like that, man. Okay? <laughs> Yahweh. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies is his name. He is a man of war. Okay. He's the one that's setting this whole thing up. So it says, for my determination, his counsel, his will is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, all these different countries to pour out, to pour upon them mine indignation, his righteous anger, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that's what's going to happen. All right. He's going to gather them. All right, in, in the place all right, of Yahweh Shapat, which is the Lord's judgment, which is over there in the mid Middle East. And let's, let's get that and we'll close it out. Or is it the book of Joel? Um, it's the third chapter. It's the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. It says, actually, yeah, I started at 9. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Yep, and the Lord is the, he is a man of war, all right? When you read the history about all the fights and, and everything that we as a nation had to go through, it was all just war war uh, uh, that we was dealing with, man. When we were in the Lord, when we was doing right, when we was, you know, being righteous in the eyes of the Lord, following his ways, putting away these idols, we would go to war and we would win, Okay. And then when we wouldn't, we would go to war and we would lose and we would be taken to, to captivity. That's why the Lord said in these last days, he's raising up the tabernacle of David. Because David, his war record was, uh, uh, and when you read it, man, he was, he, was, he was doing his thing. He was winning wars, man. Okay, he was putting in, into captivity these, the, the nations that was around about him. Why? Because he always sought the, the Lord, man. He always sought the will uh, right, of what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai wanted him to do. So that's why the Lord is raising up the tabernacle of David in these last days, because this last war, <laughs> Jacob is going to win. OK, because the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the Alpha, if Alpha and Omega, Yahweh Shai, who sits on the sits on the throne of David, is going to lead us and be the fort and be our general in this war. All right. But that this is what is coming to this earth, man. War. That's why Yahweh Shai say, said, when you should hear wars and rumors of wars. All right. Know that the end is uh, uh, is uh, by and by. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. These weak nations that are now, you know, getting their, their, their military and their nuclear arsenal, you know, built it up. They're saying that they're strong now. It says, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together around about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be awakened. And come up to the valley of Yah Jehoshaphat or, or Yahweh Shapat, the Lord's judgment, Yahweh's judgment, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen around about. And that's what's about to go down, man. So, you know, we'll continue to watch to see what happens with this, you know, see what the trickle effect that the Lord has, um, you know, uh, take place in these coming days and weeks, man. But it is it's, it's all it's all looking like, hey, we're, we're coming into the, the last days of the last days. So. You know, uh, examine yourselves, you know, stay diligent, stay fervent, get on fire, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is nigh at hand. Call Loyahal Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakaakwadash, Wa Ababa Ba. Shalom.